right, Hans. My name is Michael, and I'm your Scotty News anchor. We are glad you're here this morning. And now for your Thursday, October 27th, Scotty News. We are starting today with this news. It may make some of you sad, but listen up. It has come to, it has come to this news, news anchor's attention that we are not to wear pajamas at school. This includes onesies. Although some of you may find them comfortable, they are considered a distraction and therefore do not qualify as school appropriate. The only time it is appropriate to wear them is on specific spirit days. Thank you, and now to our regular broadcast. It's Thursday, so you know what time it is. Shout out time. Danny GN wants to shout out Maddie and Amaya for always being there for her. Ashante has a shout out from Maddie and Danny for being great friends. Mrs. Nicholas writes, shout out to Mrs. Mrs. Escamilla's fifth hour class. Thank you for being hard workers and polite students when I subbed on Tuesday. Way to demonstrate Scotty pride pa or pause. Nicholas Glenn and Lexi Bowden for working outside your comfort zone and pushing yourself to do your best. You're a true Scotty leaders. Edison Penna for brightening my day and making me laugh. Keep the stories coming. All of the eighth graders that were in my room during the fire alarm. I appreciate how you got inside, settled down, and are ready to listen to instructions. You made me proud to be a Scotty. If you have a shout out, send it on in to Mrs. Davis so the greatest of others can be shared with everyone. Other events this week are Gear Up Paranitis tonight. Gear Up and 21st Century are hosting the first ever Study Skills Night at Highlands. Bring your parents and come learn some strategies for staying organized and studying effectively. Mrs. Day will be working with your parents on how to best support their students. Also, Gear Up and 21st Century staff will be leading students through helpful activities for success. Study supplies will be given to the first 50 students who attend, and a pizza dinner will be provided. Hope to see you there. And don't forget, for one dollar, you can buy a wristband tomorrow before school so that you can wear a hat. Meet you at the flagpole. <clears throat> tomorrow at lunch, 8th graders, you are invited to purchase slushies and spicy Doritos for $1.50 apiece. That's $1.50, not $150. We will be selling by the bike rack doors. Food must be taken outside, and we ask that all trash be thrown in garbage cans when you are done. Thank you to the Scotty Snack Shop for bringing this opportunity to us. Next week, we will be honoring our current and past military community members here at Allen's. Here's Mrs. Fouts telling us about the Marine Corps. Hey guys, this is Mrs. Fouts here, and I'm going to talk to you about the United States Marine Corps because military appreciation uh, day is coming up soon and I think you should know all about them. Well, how do I know anything about the Marines? Well, my daddy's former Marine. Actually, there are no former Marines. Once a Marine, always a Marine. He joined the Marine um, Corps when he was uh, just out of high school and so I grew up as a Marine Corps brat. So here is a little bit brief history of the United States Marine Corps. On November 10th, 1775, the Second Continental Congress was meeting in Philadelphia and passed a resolution that stated two battalions of Marines would be raised for service as landing forces for the fleet. And that was the beginning of the American Revolution, so we were right there. This resolution established the Continental Marines and marked the birth date of the Marine Corps. The United States Marines is a land um, oops, maritime land force branch of the United States Armed Services, responsible for conducting operations through combined arms implementing its own infantry, artillery, aerial, and special operations forces. The United States Marine Corps is one of eight art, uh, uniformed services of the United States. The Marine Corps became part of the Department of Navy on June 30, 1834, along with its sister service, the United States Navy. The Marine Corps is known as the country's rapid reaction force. They are trained to fight by sea, land, and air and most likely first boots on the ground, and usually last to leave. Marines are known as the world's fiercest warriors. Hurrah! <clears throat> Have a great Thank you, Mrs. Fouts. Next week, we are also going to be showing our Scotty spirit. Your ASB team has a week of fun planned, starting with our dress-up days. On Monday, yes, it is Halloween, and yes, you can dress up. We are going with the theme, Dress Up Against William. On Tuesday, uh, Tuesday will be our twin day with You Are Never Alone. On Wednesday, we will be our unique selves with the, with the theme Embrace Your You. So while others may think you are dressing weird or wacky, you do you and be who you want to be. 
On Thursday, along with our military appreciation, we are standing united against bullying, so wear your red, white, and blue. And on Friday, we are going to pull, put bullying to sleep by wearing our pajamas. Yep, although on any other day you cannot wear them, this, this day is a spirit day, so you are good to go. Let's have some fun and show our spirit. Finally, please remember to turn in all of your outstanding chocolate money to the, out, to the ASB window. If you, are having, if, you are, if you are having any trouble selling, go ahead and turn those in too. And now here's your quote of the day from Michael Josephson. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. And finally, from Michael Craig and your school press, have a great day here at HMS.